Hello everybody, Akugir here, and welcome back to another episode of Redstone Mini. Today we are just going to be playing around with a few tips and tricks and stuff like that that I've just kind of gotten over a while. So, let's just look at this first one. Do you guys want to shoot fireworks, but only want to press one button, not use a lot of redstone or repeaters? Well, I've got the solution. Um, a YouTuber named Exumavoid, again, talk about him a lot, but anyway... He showed this in one of his past, past videos. It's not recent, but I just kind of remembered it, and I've wanted to do a video on it. So anyway, what it is, is is pressing one button with just this button, and all of these will activate. How this works is called a butt switch. A butt switch is, if you power one, one uh, this block, it'll kind of power the one right next to it. So what? And you might say, how does this keep powering each other? Well... This does have to do with fireworks, because this, I think, mainly works for maybe, I think, fireworks, eggs, and fire chargers. I haven't tried eggs or fire chargers, but I know this definitely works for fireworks. So what happens is, if you click this, firework will come out of this, will come out of the first one, hit this pressure plate, this pressure, pressure plate will, will trigger this one, this one will hit this, then this pressure plate will activate this. So it literally just goes in a line and just keeps going and going and going until the end. So real quick, I'm actually going to show you guys. So as you guys can see, it just goes one by one. And you do not need to make this in a straight line. You can also make it like this because the firework hits this one. It'll also go to this one and this one. So let me show you guys this one. Yep, I thought this was really cool, and it's just a little trick that I picked up, and you guys can use it too. But, it's obvious, it's pretty obvious how you build it, but I'm just going to show you guys. What you need to do is you just make a row of dispensers, non-droppers, dispensers. Just put them in a row, and put um, pressure plates on top of them. And then put one down there, or that could also be a lever, it doesn't really matter. And just fill the things with fireworks. And that is about it. And from here, so it's pretty easy to build. Instead of putting a bunch of repeaters, redstone, you just do this. And really, the only materials it uses is dispensers, which does use a little bit of redstone and string and all that. But it's not a big deal. Plus, you can collect them again and use them all over again. And these wooden pressure plates, they're just made out of wood. Wood you can get really easily. So that's just one. And I wanted to just talk about one more. This is just probably a lot of people know about this. It's just the kind of a little thing I built is it kind of extends the redstone pulse in a cool way. It's not just a normal redstone wire. I, th I just thought it looked really cool. So yeah, how it works is, this is a piston here, a redstone block. If you give power to this, this will extend the redstone block right here, and that will power this, and this will extend it over here, and again, this will be powered, and then it extends over here, and on and on and on. So real quick, I'm gonna do it again and show you guys. And of course, at the end, well, let me turn it off so you guys can see. And at the end, I just have one more going over here. And if this block goes over here, it powers this. It's just kind of a cool way to send redstone signal. And real quick, I'll show you guys how to build it. It's not that hard. You just need a redstone block and then go sideways. Yeah, you just need to go sideways one. Yeah, that's right. Go, yeah, so go down one and then put it at the corner. And go down one and put it at the corner, down one, corner, down one, corner, down one, corner, down one, corner. And you just keep doing this, so you go down one again, then go to the corner of that one. And let's remove this because that's in the way. And then just put pistons behind every single one of them. Just piston, 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 piston. Let me time set day. And then all you need to do is take a lever, activate this one, and it'll just go. So honestly, this does you use up a lot of materials. So, like, if you want to do it easily, but the boring way, just put a redstone wire. Or you could just use a bunch of, dis um, the bunch of redstone blocks and pistons. So yes, it's a lot harder, but you know what? It just looks all that much cooler. And of course, you can play around with this anyway. But guys, thank you for watching. This has been Aqua Gear, 
and make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and God bless, and goodbye.